these are the steps at high level that goes inside a neural network epoch so i'm sure every time you run a neural network model you would be seeing something like epoch 1 completed epoch 2 completed so what is that epoch an epoch is basically a combination of these four steps step 1 initialize the parameters what are the parameters weights and biases step 2 forward propagate step 3 compute the error of the model and step 4 adjust the parameters based on the error of the model now these are the steps of a epoch at high level and then this forward propagation repeats again but do we really understand the internal mathematics of all these steps do we really understand what happens inside the network when it says an epoch is getting completed do we understand how the errors are getting adjusted and how the weights and biases are being optimized that is what we will discuss in this video with an example numbers and neural network welcome to unfold data science my name is aman and i am a data scientist in this video i am going to explain you every piece of forward propagation backward propagation and epoch the weight adjustment the error improvement and how the complete neural network works from the beginning to end let's start the discussion so to understand the internal mathematics what we should have is a neural network in place right so as you can see here on the screen i have a very simple neural network in front of you and you can just take a picture in your mobile if you want or you can come back and refer to this picture whenever you want also i will be displaying this picture in the corner of the video throughout this video so what is this uh, neural network all about so we have input layer which is represented by l1 and l2 nodes h1 and s2 are the part of hidden layer and o1 and o2 are the parts of output layer okay so we have one hidden layer one input layer and one output layer two nodes in all these layers okay now what are the input values in l1 we have the value 0 0.05 in l2 we have the value 0 0.10 what are the initial weights that we have started with this? So I have started with the weights 0 0.15 is W1, 0 0.20 is W2, 0 0.25 is W3, 0 0.30 is W4 and similarly you can see the weights of the hidden layer as well like 0 0.40 W5 okay and what is the output expected for this model? So in the output layer in the node O1 the output expected is 0 0.01 and in O2 the output expected is 0.99 now in this neural network while starting I have also attached bias term here if you can see there are two bias terms here so one is attaching to the hidden layer and other to the output layer so one bias term is 0.35 and B2 is 0 0.60 so I want you to have a look at this network for like 10 seconds there are two nodes and three layers okay so two nodes at each layer input layer hidden layer output layer i have initialized the weights and i have the input numbers and output numbers okay let us come to my board now okay so here what will be the part one of the neural network the part one of the network will be initialization of the network how do we initialize so as i show, showed you in the picture i have assumed some weights in the beginning right so what goes as the input to h1 so what is h1 h1 is the first node in the hidden layer so what will go in h1 it will be summation of wi xi plus b b is nothing but your bias term right so if you can refer that picture again in place of this wi xi all the respective weights will get multiplied with the x values right hence 0.5 which is the value is getting multiplied with the 0 0.05 similarly 0 0.2 is getting multiplied with 0 0.1 this is nothing but weight multiplied by the x values and then finally a bias term will come 0 0.35 into 1 so this is nothing but the bias term that we have added okay so this is your wixi w1 x1 w2 x2 plus b output of this is 0 0.3775 now as we know what goes as input to the hidden layer there is an activation function which acts on this value correct 
so what comes out from the hidden layer h1 so that is what i have written here output from h1 hidden layer first node will be 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus this value 0 0.3775 whatever has come as input to the node and whatever is the output of this value so here i am using this activation function there can be other activation function as well now whatever the output of this which is nothing but 0 0.59326992 this number goes as output from h1 okay so what is input to h1 summation of wixi from the input layer what is output to h1 an activation function applied on this whatever is the output that goes as an output from the h1 similarly what goes in as output from h2 is this number with the same calculation let us see what happens next so we had seen in the previous step what is coming out of the hidden layer now it's time to see what is going as input to output layer okay so what is the first node in output layer o1 so what will be the input to o1 so w5 and w6 are the weights from h1 and h2 to o1 okay hence w5 will get multiplied with output from h1 and w6 will get multiplied from output of h2 and obviously the bias term will get added 0 0.6 into 1 that is what we have kept as bias for the output layer now once all these things we plug in the number 0 0.4 was the w5 and 0 0.6 is uh, 0 0.45 is w6 and we plug in output of h1 and output of h2 which we calculated in previous step okay then this entire calculation becomes 0 0.75 136507 similarly the output from the o2 which is the second node in the output layer is 0 0.77298465 so now we have completed one complete forward propagation started with random weight came to hidden layer with activation function in the output layer these are the outputs we are getting now it is the time to compute what is the error we are getting okay so now is the time to compute error we have actual values and we have predicted values so this is how we are computing error in this case half of actual minus predicted whole square so this gives a relative error in terms of our output so this error if you compute this this part is coming from output node 1 and similarly this part is coming from output node 2 so what was the actual values in the data in output one was 0 0.01 and other was also uh, I think 0 0.05 or some value so from that if you compute this is the error coming from E01 and E02 output 1 and output 2 and now E total will be E01 plus E02 so this is the total error of the neural network model in the first iteration now what is our job our job or the models job it is to minimize this error by optimizing the initial assumptions of the weights and biases that we had made how to do that let's see so if you remember gradient descent from my last video then to optimize a function or to minimize a function we have to optimize the parameters that make that function so if we have to minimize the error total in terms of w5 then we'll have to find the gradient of total error with respect to w5 right this is how gradient descent works but we do not have a direct relation between e total and w5 so how e total was calculated if you remember that was actual value minus predicted value whole square there was no w5 there so what we implement here is something known as chain rule so this also i had discussed as a part of my mathematics for neural network video so we have to find the gradient of total error with respect to w5 but we do not have a direct relation between these two so what we do expand this term error total by output o1 this we can compute because this is there in the formula of error total output of 1 by input of o1 this also we can compute and input of o1 by weight 5 this also we can compute so this becomes the three different parts now to know whether to increase w5 or decrease w5 so that the error gets minimized we need to see 
what is the gradient of this for that we need to compute all three individually so machine computes internally but as a data scientist you and me should know so i'm just going to show you how this computation takes place so we had the three parts of the error right so this block from here to here is the calculation of part one of the error so what was part one part one was total error with respect to output of o1 so we have a defined relation between output of o1 and total error that is what we are putting here taking the derivative so again the partial derivative rule applies here and other variables are treated as constant and we get the value as 0 0.7413 this is part one of that three equations we saw what is the part two part two was output o1 with respect to input o1 this relation also we have right so this relation is 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus input of o1 take the derivative put the value we get 0 0.1868 now we have two things in that equation we'll calculate the third thing and plug in the value so here we are computing the third part of that equation that is input to o1 with respect to w5 so we already have a relation between input to o1 and w5 so we take the derivative plug in the values and we get 0 0.5932 now we started with computing the error gradient with respect to w5 which was a combination of three independent terms due to chain rule and the value of these three independent terms are this this and final value comes from here 5932 so the gradient of error with respect to w5 is how much 0 0.0821 now if you remember from my last video how do you optimize a parameter or how do you optimize a loss function is new value is equal to old value minus step size this is what gradient descent says right so what will be the step size here so step size is nothing but a multiplication of learning rate with the gradient that we computed right now what we are trying to optimize here w5 so what will happen w5 new will be w5 old so we started from 0 0.40 if you remember w5 is 0 0.40 old value and then we put the learning rate as let us assume 0 0.1 and gradient what we computed 0 0.8 correct is equal to 0 0.40 minus 0 0.08 this value will be 0 0.32 so we started from 0 0.40 for w5 the initial assumption now we are at 0 0.32 this is one round of optimization and similarly there will be optimizations for w1 w2 and all those weights this complete process of checking the error and optimizing it coming back is known as one complete epoch and this is how neural network work from the beginning to the end so i'm sure you understood all these concepts well if you have any doubts, let me know through comment. I will definitely re respond to you. I will see you all in the upcoming video with another interesting topic. Till then, stay safe and take care.